Welcome to episode three of the Super Royal Cricket Roundup. Uh, we have a Super Royal, Super Royals panelists once again. I'm going to ask you all one simple question, and the answer has to be in one word. Okay. So, what is your one word reaction to that entire Test match? Shocking. Okay. Disheartening. Symbolic. Humiliation. <laughs> strong words there. Strong words there, guys. But yeah, well, that's that's the true emotion. Finally, let's move on. Um, now, here's an interesting point. What if Kohli was not run out in that first innings? How much do you think India would have perhaps scored? Comfortable stage. I think 189 for three. And there was a very famous video going around last year. There was a Pakistani fan saying, "Ik dum ino ne vakt badal diye, jazbat badal di, zindagi badal di." So that was the emotions of the entire thing when Kohli got out. But yes, that was a huge uh, shock for us, especially when. When he got out, it was it was a situation where we just started to dominate the game, and I believe that if Kohli and Rahane could have uh, held on together at least till stumps, then maybe we would have gotten closer to the 300 mark, uh, 300 run mark, which would have been so much crucial in such games. I, I think uh, it, it was the key point. It was the key point of the match, and the match was the timing. The timing that wicket was taken was the big big factor because the ball had stopped, wasn't doing anything there. They had got their eyes set. Uh, they were playing very, very beautifully, and I think mentally, Virat Kohli just gave Australia that boost, and then they came and took the rest of the wickets. Exactly, but I think, but even after scoring 244, I think we were pretty much in the game when Australia were, I guess, 111 for seven, and that dropped catch of Tim Payne, I guess, was the turning point because I think he. Maybe if that catch was taken, and maybe Australia would have been bundled out for 120, and we might have already have a lead of maybe 100 or 120. Fair point. How good do you think was India's bowling in their first innings? Uh, I don't think bowling has been a real concern for us, uh, especially in the last couple of years. Uh, but uh, you know what happened in the second innings was uh, shocking, to be honest. We, I wasn't expecting India to win, but 36 for nine. I don't think anybody could demand that. Obviously, but it's good for India. Like Piyush said, India's balling, I don't think there's any issue. Everyone's doing good. Only one improvement should be only in batting. Yes, yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. But it's a very strong thing that I noticed that India's balling is very strong. Yes, that's true. But it's a very strange thing that I noticed on social media that Ashwin was the only spinner who dismissed Smith in the IPL. Yes, uh, certainly. Ashwin has... Uh, it looks like Ashwin has the upper hand over Smith. Smith quite a lot in the recent years, especially when you see there was a match in Dharmashala, I think, in 2017 India Australia series where, where there was a video circulating on Twitter that day that Ashwin got Smith the exact same way except that Ashwin was bowling round the wicket, but the but but the ball and the fielders were exactly the same. So that just shows that the importance of variations in Test cricket. We always talk about that uh, Ashwin should be. Not be bowling too much of variation. He should be focusing on his stock balls. And Ashwin just put that entire debate uh, away. Agree. I think Ashwin probably pulled out a lot of leaves out of Lyon's book because Lyon's been amazing with variations in pace in Australia, and that's how he's tricked batsmen. And I think Ashwin's been trying to do that, and with some success this in this test. Okay, moving on. So Mayank, Australia's bowling to both tagdi thi. Koi doubt nahi usme. बट कहीं ना कहीं क्या आपको लगता है कि द इंडियन बैट्समैन वुड हैव प्लेड प्रॉब्ली अ बिट मोर पॉजिटिवली सम वॉट सिमिलर टू हाउ द ऑस्ट्रेलियन ओपनर्स डेड येस दे हैड दे प्रॉब्ली हैड वेरी लिटिल प्रेशर बट वी डिड हैव अ लीड ऑफ सिक्सटी ऑर्ड विच उस टाइम पे बहुत अच्छी थी तो तुम्हें लगता है कि थोड़ा बहुत इंटेंट अगर होता जो कोहली ने भी पॉइंट आउट किया था आफ्टर द मैच डे थ्री की स्टार्टिंग हुई मेरे ख्याल से ऐसा मुझे कोई नहीं लगा कि जिसने लू शॉट खेल के आउट हुआ हो मतलब वो बॉल ऐसी थी कि शायद ही कोई बैट्समैन हो जो उस बॉल को ना खेलता या जैसे वो किस्मत होती है अगर निकल जाते तो होता है कई बार कि हर चीज सही जगह पे गिरती है वही उस दिन ऑस्ट्रेलिया के साथ हुआ लेकिन मुझे नहीं लगता ऐसा कुछ है आई थिंक रेयर है ये चीज और हमेशा तो होगी नहीं आई थिंक उतना इस बात मतलब मेरे ख्याल से ऑस्ट्रेलिया बॉलर्स को यही क्रेडिट देना चाहिए कि उन्होंने इतनी अच्छी बॉलिंग की पिंक बॉल में वी टॉक अबाउट दैट ट्वेलाइट इफेक्ट और यू नो पिंक बॉल बहुत ज्यादा मूव करने वाली है बट वो 36 दैट हैपेंड ऑन अ ब्राइट सनी डे एग्जैक्टली और 
यू नो इन दैट थर्टी सिक्स हर कोई ट्रोल करने में लगा हुआ बैटिंग लाइनअप को बट वी हैव टू अप्रिशिएट दैट दे बोल्ड रियली वेल एंड कंडीशन उस टाइम भी इतनी फैमिली थी इतनी सुटेबल थी नहीं बोलर्स के लिए बट स्टिल दे बोल्ड इन राइट एरियाज एंड और द रिजल्ट सो हैट्स ऑफ टू दैम the big problem being in uh, you got to keep the scoreboard rotating if you're not doing the singles and you're just getting stuck australia had a run rate of 1.4 uh, you know and 56 overs something like that india should have learned from that and said look what we need to do we need to get the runs on the board quickly as possible there's plenty of time in the test match yeah but play the shots play your natural game um now the way that innings ended was probably a bigger blow for india especially the bowling unit Shami is not part of the series anymore. So, who do you think should first replace him in the squad? And secondly, who do you think from the existing crop of bowlers should take his place in the second test in Melbourne? Have to replace Shami in the squad. I believe that it's going to be one of uh, Tiagi or Nagar Koti. I, I don't think Nagar Koti has travelled to Australia, so I believe Karthik Tiagi would be the one replacing him as he bowled in one of the practice game earlier. So Tiagi would be a, an addition to the squad, and I believe that uh, we should have Siraj in the team. If that we are going to see Shubman Gill making his debut, KL Rahul at the top of the order, and Vihari might bat at number four if we go about the things of what happened in the practice game because he batted at number four. So. Mayank, uh, or one thing is that now, who will ball, new ball, who will share with Bumrah? आई थिंक मिलनी तो उमेश यादव को चाहिए क्योंकि उमेश यादव थोड़ी सी स्विंग भी कराते हैं लेकिन जो सेकंड इनिंग्स में मतलब सिर्फ 90 रन्स थे लेकिन जो उमेश यादव ने बिल्कुल भी कंसिस्टेंसी नहीं दिखाई मतलब उनकी ज्यादा शॉर्ट बॉल थी उसमें मतलब ऐसी कोई सच बॉल नहीं थी जिसपे विकेट आ सकता था तो मेरे ख्याल से मोहम्मद सिराज अगर आते हैं तो आई थिंक मोहम्मद सिराज को मिलनी चाहिए नई बॉल क्योंकि वो नई बॉल से हमने आईपीएल में भी देखा वो अच्छी करते हैं और डोमेस्टिक क्रिकेट में भी वो करते हैं मतलब वो स्टार्ट करते हैं नई बॉल से any other lighting if siraj siraj plays he should definitely bowl with the new ball uh, he has perfect line uh, jo test match ke liye chahiye hoti hai line length he definitely has that and in fact in ipl as well uh, in the power play he had more wickets than jofra archer or so jaspreet dokra and the changes obviously prithvi shaw should not be anywhere near the team yeah and uh, i say i would open with kr rahul kr rahul mike agarwal you have then a basis of you know players that play which are then all formats of cricket and then obviously i'll get shubman gill in and for me uh, to replace kohli and then the big change i would do vrri out jadeja in again like the guys have been saying the fact is we have that fifth bowler then and then we could control the innings right so quick predictions uh, from all of you about melbourne test quick prediction is if we pick the right team win the toss and get a big score on the board uh, there's nothing stopping india not winning this test match so it's a very very important match i take a draw now if you offered me a draw i'll take the draw now go to sydney get the two spinners on the turning wicket and i'll say uh, that would be best best thing for india but hopefully i'd say i'll take a draw well i'm actually very uh, excited to see this test match not just because to see how we react after that 36 run order because normally we see teams capitulating to all the pressure created by australia when you go 1-0 down it is always expected to go 4-0 when australia apply those pressure on on the field as well as off the field by australian media but i really have high hopes this time because we are going to see quite a lot of changes in the melbourne test match and i'm i'm sure that we are going to see quite a good intent by a batsman coach do teen saalon mein agar melbourne ka jo pitch hai wo dekha jaye to utne results bhi nahi aaye hain matlab mostly draw ho jate hain kyunki do ya teen din ke matlab normally ek ya do din ke baad matlab fir kuch hota nahi hai pitch pe na swing na spin to i think yahi rahega jaise sandy sun ne bhi kaha pehle batting kare aur bada score laga diya to fir us hisab se depend karta hai ki pitch kaisi hai uske baad main predict kar raha hu ki ye match shayad draw ho jaye well i'm going against the odds or mujhe lagta hai shayad india jeetegi ye match and pujara will be the most crucial batsman for us uh, in the next test kyunki kohli bhi nahi honge uh, i i think india will do well and they should win great quite positive i see i think nobody knows ajinkya rahane's captaincy skills better than us royals fans right so i think we should all wish luck to him uh, he has three more tests to captain difficult uh, especially after the horrible loss but let's let's hope that he comes out on top thanks guys it was a great session 
and now we'll see you all once again for episode 4 after the melbourne test